Reactions of acid chlorides are basically all the same. I'm going to show you the general mechanism for all of them right here. Your acid chloride has a carbon that is double bonded to oxygen and single bonded to chlorine. Those are electronegative atoms, and so that carbon has a slight positive charge. That means it is ripe for an attack by a nucleophile, which really just comes down to an oxygen or a nitrogen that has a lone pair on it. Here's the oxygen of water. There's a lone pair. It is ripe to attack that carbonyl carbon. Here's an ammonia. That ammonia molecule has a lone pair on the nitrogen. Maybe it attacks that same carbonyl carbon. Here's the oxygen of an alcohol. It has a lone pair on it. Maybe it attacks. I've even seen this, well, I have a video where we show this happening even for the OH of a carboxylic acid. In all of those cases, what happens is you form a new bond between that electronegative atom that had a lone pair, and you're breaking the pi bond of this carbonyl group. The product you're left with is whatever carbon chain you had to the left here, a single bonded oxygen, which has a formal charge of minus one. You still have your chlorine attached. And now you have, well, whatever any of these were. Lots of people will write that as NU. Now, the other thing about all of these nucleophiles that end up reacting is they all have an H attached to it. So you have your nucleophilic molecule and there has to be an H on it somewhere. All of these electronegative atoms had a formal charge of zero because these are, well, not because they are neutral molecules, but they all have a formal charge of zero. So when you create a new bond between the nucleophile and that carbonyl carbon, it ends up with a formal charge of plus one. Now, to reform the double bond between this oxygen and carbon, to alleviate that negative formal charge, the chloride willingly leaves. That's why I wrote the next step here is basically the chloride leaving. So you end up with carbon chain, double bonded oxygen reformed, you still are connected to the nucleophile and it still has an H on it. It still has its formal charge of plus one, but you made Cl minus as a byproduct, that is the chloride that was a great leaving group here. And the final step ends up being this chlorine stealing that extra H away. That gives the nucleophile back a lone pair of electrons. So you end up with that carbonyl carbon with its carbon chain. And now the chlorine has been replaced with a nucleophile. Perhaps it's OH, perhaps it's NH2, perhaps it's OR. And HCl is a byproduct there. Cool. This is the generic mechanism that works whenever you're reacting almost anything with an acid chloride. Nucleophilic attack, the chloride leaves, and then the chloride helps to deprotonate the nucleophile and create a neutral, stable molecule for you. That's the generic mechanism. I hope it helped you understand why acid chlorides are so reactive and what kinds of products are made. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.